Welcome to the lesson on setting up your PowerPoint environment for rapid e-learning. Today I'm going to go over a, a bunch of points and show you how I set up PowerPoint for rapid e-learning. I'll answer the question, is PowerPoint a good e-learning tool? And then go over a bunch of the items listed on the screen here. But first, let's go ahead and answer the question, is PowerPoint a good e-learning tool? My answer for that is a blank screen. The point here is that PowerPoint's really a blank canvas. And uh, if I were to try to draw on a canvas, it would probably look something like this. I'd love to blame it on the canvas, but that's really not fair. Uh, my point is that with rapid e-learning and, and PowerPoint as your base tool, you can develop really bad e-learning and you can also develop really good e-learning. Here's an example of what a couple other people are doing with the designs that they've done. And they're using rapid authoring tools and PowerPoint combined to develop these, but you'll see that the designs don't look like your standard PowerPoint presentation. Let's go ahead and dive into PowerPoint um, setup and uh, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I'll be doing a bunch of follow-up lessons um, in more detail with the topics that I'm talking about here. But let's go ahead and get into PowerPoint. So now I have PowerPoint open and this is how I have my environment set up. Uh, I'll go over uh, a bunch of the features here. So first I wanted to talk about the ribbon. New in PowerPoint 2007 is a ribbon with more uh, of a visual design layout for all the tools that you have. The other thing that's really neat about the ribbon is the way that the shortcuts work. So by hitting Alt I can activate uh, the shortcuts and you'll see if I hit that letter it opens up that tab and then I can follow up by doing whatever function that I want to do. I'll go over this in more detail uh, but that's the, the basics of the ribbon. The other thing that I always use is the quick access toolbar. You may not even have this set up in your PowerPoint but I put some of the features that I use a lot that aren't readily available in PowerPoint such as uh, some of the alignment and distribution and working with layers. The other two things that I almost always have open are the custom animation pane and the selection and visibility pane. Uh, now to turn on the selection and visibility pane, you go to the Home tab, under Editing click Select, and then Selection Pane. Uh, for custom animation, you would just go up to Animations, click on Custom Animation, and it'll pull those two panes up. Now what's so great about the selection and visibility pane is working with layers. Um, so you'll see here um, I can rename different objects that are on the screen and uh, this is controlling the way the layers work. So you'll see if I click on QAT, which is Quick Access Toolbar, if I move it up, it pulls it in front of this one. If I hit it down, it goes behind some of the other things. So it's really great for controlling your layers. Also, sometimes you're trying to work with an object that's behind another one. You can hide that uh, front object um, just by clicking these eyeballs, and it makes it a little bit easier to work with everything. The other nice thing is that when you name it in the selection and visibility pane, it pulls over to the, your custom animations. So as you're trying to control your animations, it's clear what it is that you're working with. Um, a couple of the other things that I have set up here, um, I like to have the ruler turned on. You'll see as I move my mouse around that up here it tracks it, and over on the side here it tracks it. Um, and then I also like these uh, guidelines as well. Um, you can create new guidelines by uh, just holding control and moving it over and that really helps with um, alignment from a slide to slide basis. Um, to turn both of these features on just right click in your main area, click ruler to get the ruler on or grid and guides and then display drawing guides on screen and then OK. Um, to remove any of the guidelines if you just click on it and drag it off it will clear it. The other thing I want to talk about is shortcuts in PowerPoint. So this is well beyond just your control C, control V for copy paste. There are a ton of shortcuts that can save you a lot of time with formatting uh, and alignment and I'll go over all of those in a follow-up um, lesson and I'll also provide a cheat sheet for you so that you don't, you'll have kind of one page with all of your shortcuts on it. I hope you found that lesson useful. I'll be creating a bunch of more lessons to follow up on these. Uh, visit elearningart.com for more information.